Hello everyone, my name is Stephen George and I play video games. Today, it's Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. This is the first of, uh, well, I was going to say uh, trilogy, but now they're adding even more uh, titles into the Uncharted series. This is my first time ever I've ever even put Uncharted into the PlayStation. Uh, yes, I want to be upfront with you guys. This is a blind Let's Play. So if you're looking for an in-depth walkthrough where someone's going to tell you how to beat everything and where all the secrets are, you, my friend, are in the wrong place. Uh, I have never played this before. This will be a blind Let's Play. Uh, I want to experience the game for the first time, and I want to share that experience with you guys. Um, along those lines, I definitely need to throw out that because this is my first time playing it, I would really appreciate it if you guys did not spoil anything in the comments. Really, really appreciate that. Um, I will be pre-recording these, uh, so you can leave tips and tricks for me, but it may take me several episodes before I see it. If there's anything I miss that's, you know, major, I'll do a bonus episode at the uh, end of the series to show, you know, whatever it is that is important. The reason I'm just now getting around to the Uncharted series is that I've never owned a PlayStation 3. I just got a PlayStation 3 a few months ago, and one of the titles that I really wanted to check out was Uncharted. Longtime viewer and friend Joel was actually kind enough uh, and thoughtful enough to send me a copy of the game, and that is why we are doing the LP here today. So, without further ado, let's jump into Uncharted and see what all the fuss is about. Uh, we'll do it on normal, because easy is too easy, and I've never played it before. Now, for those who are unaware, um, this game is a big deal. It's won a ton of awards. Uh, all, almost every website um, and reviewer that has uh, reviewed the game has given it somewhere between an 85 and a 90, very high scores. Uh, this game came out in November 2007. IGN awarded it the best PlayStation game of the year for 2007. Uh, so that's one of the many reasons I'm anxious to play this. I am here off the coast of Panama, where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What the hell? Devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. No, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't you have... got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that... Could you hold that thought? Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh... Pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just you point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I like it already. Aim and how shoot. How the hell they find us out here? Uh, these guys have been telling me for weeks. But I lost them. Oh, okay, uh, I don't have unlimited ammo. Uh, Always aim for the head. Take cover when next to an object. Okay. I'm learning as I go. Shooting head. Shooting head. Shooting head. Shooting head. Gotcha. Can I reload? What's reload? That's punch. That. Can I reload. 
So uh, do I have two guns now? I just have a backup gun? Whoa, buddy, what are you doing there? Fast and Furious combo. Kaboom, baby! Got your gun too, or something. Oh, I had to drop my gun to punch him. Preserving ammo. Boosh. All right. Need that gun back? Thank you. Is there anyone else here? Did I kill everyone? No. I got this. Oh, jumping overboard. Where are you coming? Where are you coming? Where are you coming? Brutal combo. Press uh, triangle after the first punch lands. Press square after the second punch lands to finish the combo. Okay, so let's try this. Gotcha! Enemies killed by brutal combo drop more ammo. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, it's not really. Okay, so I can reload. Sully, where are you? Kind of hard to understand, but I'm 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 doing well. Shoot! Also, I'm I'm pretty good at surviving bullets. It seems. Shot you. Who's left? You're shooting at somebody. Who are you shooting at? Oh God! Ah no! Take cover. That seems problematic. Okay, let's let's take cover behind this crate. Oh no, my, my crate! Oh god, my crate! My crate's gone. Wait, what? Is that a plane? Do I hear a plane on my side? Oh god, no! I that man, it kind of threw you into the fire there, did it? Oh god. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Cutscene instead. Oh wait! What are you doing? Okay. Come on! Go! Alright! <laughs> <laughs> I can't leave you alone for a minute, can I? I had everything under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you all right? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elaine Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Huh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. <sighs> what do you say we get out of here? Before we attract any more attention. Well? A little present from Sir Francis. Oh, oh, so you found the coffin. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. So look, when Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh-huh, so this... But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> a man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Ho, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. 
It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera, no. Still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. <laughs> good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. No, I don't trust him, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... Son of a bitch. Hey! <sighs> Should have seen that one coming. Ugh. I thought she laid the camera on that barrel. Not that it's all that important, but anyway. Chapter 2, The Search for El Dorado. Oh, hold on. Hold on, kid. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? Ha, <laughs> well, that was different. Although, I must admit, equally as strenuous. <laughs> well... Hang in there, old-timer. We're just about there. <laughs> you know, this reminds me. I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santo off on Pablo Escobar? <laughs> uh, risky move, but by the time he figured it out, I was... Nate, are you even listening to me? Hanging on every word. Uh, why waste my breath? Okay. Um, so that was quite an introduction. Uh, obviously, you've probably seen it yourself. I've read very, very little because I want to keep the game, you know, spoiler-free as I play it. But it's kind of like an Indiana Jones type thing. It's a treasure hunter. Nathan Drake is uh, who we're playing as. We just found the uh, the treasure of Sir Francis Drake, and apparently now we're on the road to El Dorado. Uh, that's literally all I know, and I guess all that we should know. The only other thing I know about the game is that it was... Uh, Developed by Naughty Dog, who also created the Crash Bandicoot series, uh, and uh, more recently the Jack and Daxter series. Although I say more recently, but that was still like, God, I don't know, a long time ago. So now we're just making our way through the jungles, and uh, see what happens. So press X to jump. That's useful. I can grab things. Hey, monkey! What up, little monkey? How's it going? Where'd he go? He ran away. It's kind of sad. So X jumps, and I'm assuming that this is also going to be like a tutorial-ish thing. I can get out my gun and aim. This guy is with me. Sully. The jumping is... I, I want to say the jumping is weird, but honestly, the jumping is kind of realistic, really, because there's a lot of times in video games where someone's like, Boing! You really think Francis Drake came all the way up here, huh? We're an awful long way from England. It was funny because I said boing, and he did exactly what I thought he would do. Anyway, so let's keep moving. No enemies, which is nice. Although there technically shouldn't be enemies here, right? Oh, my guy's walking. Cutscene time! Well, I don't get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. What a goddamn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and by that, I mean I'll let the person controlling the game take a look around. Apparently, if you do that near trees, you try to touch them. I gotta admit, um, Nathan Drake's a pretty good-looking guy. Man, this is like trying to find a bride in a brothel. I mean, he's not as good-looking as our guy, per se, but you know, he's a pretty good-looking guy. Let's keep moving. Birds. This is more like it. 
Tomb Raider. Apparently this game was uh, compared to Tomb Raider a lot when it came out, because uh, there's a lot of climbing. Is, nah, it's older than that. It's like 2,000 years older. Huh. Can I climb? No, it doesn't seem so. It looks like there's a lot of vines, but the game hasn't given me any instruction on climbing. Okay. Well, there must be another way around. Just continue on this way, I guess. Yeah, it looks like I can go this way. Also, probably can go up here. There we go. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. Maybe. Sort of. Aha! Gotcha. Find anything? Nothing yet. There might have been something over there, I don't know. That's not that's not the direction I I came, I don't think. Okay. We're obviously making some progress. Careful up there. Looks like I might need to do some kind of running jump. There we go. Hey, there's something funny about the ground down there. Figure it out. You're going to fall. You're it's totally going to fall. We got to find a way to smash through this. Oh, you're not going to fall. <laughs> Maybe that big boulder up there? There's a conveniently placed boulder. So I could go that way. Uh, I can't really jump that way. So let's jump this way. Whoop. And further if possible. Woo! Kind of like a quick time event without the quick time. Press circle above an edge to drop down and grab it. All right, Lara Croft. Let's go over here. Push left and X to jump from edge to edge. Okay. And further. Doing fine. Actually, um... I think I, I read that when it first came out, it was called Dude Raider. Push away from a wall and press X to jump to the opposite edge. Now we're doing Shadow of the Colossus. It's really not fair to, to compare everything to um, Tomb Raider, because I, that means if you ever climb in a video game ever, it's going to get compared to Tomb Raider, which is kind of ridiculous. Okay, so this is the boulder, it looks like. So now we have a big, huge triangle button. Must be the action button. Mash. Cool. Good work, kid. So trying to figure out these buttons myself. L2 seems to just kind of zoom in unless Sully's talking. Um, L1 is getting out of the gun. R2, if I'm not, or R1, if I'm not already holding L1 to aim, just kind of shoots at the hip. And R2 is reload. Okay, glad I figured that out. Uh, doesn't look like L3 and well, L3 doesn't do anything. R3. Puts it behind me. Let me. Jump down here. Probably shouldn't jump down randomly like that. How you doing? Can, we, can I talk to you at any time? Maybe with triangle? This triangle seemed to be the action button. No. And uh, uh, square is attack. Okay, I think we're good. Let's uh, let's make our way down here. Into somewhere. Do we have flashlights? Ho, ho, ho! I apparently don't have a flashlight. I have a gun for all the bears that might be in this cave. Bears. Nothing yet. Oh, I have a flashlight on my belt? Or is that my gun? What a warm and homey place, huh? <laughs> well, not quite what you were expecting, huh? Yeah. Where's all the damn gold? Yeah, this place was picked clean centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. What the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. I was really counting on this one. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and, well, just a few bad deals. Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? 
Look who's talking. What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. Those Spaniards sure left a lot of crap behind. I like how the game is going for this, uh, I don't know, giant blockbuster type movie feel, um, because it feels like that. Uh, it feels grandiose and big. Anyway, that's actually all the time we have for this first episode, but never fear, uh, this game is getting the five day weekend treatment. Basically means that uh, since we are starting out this LP, we're going to have five days in a row. So come back tomorrow for the second episode of Uncharted. I'm as excited as you are to see it, because I haven't seen it either. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you haven't done so already, highly consider subscribing to Stephen Play's new video game episode every single day. And be sure to join us tomorrow for the continuation of Uncharted here on Stephen Play's.